So you, you got an Android 2 light and you spent hours pouring through documentation, studying flow charts, and watching YouTube videos, and you get the light set up exactly how you want it. This is an example of a light that is set up exactly how I like it. This is an MSR D4 V2. And you'll see that it's flashing red, letting me know that it's unlocked. If I lock it, one, two, three, four, it's going to go to a low blue auxiliary LED. And from here, it doesn't really do anything except momentary moonlight. If I unlock it, when I turn it on, one click, it's going to come on in the lowest setting. And that does not burn a hole through my skin, exposing my bone. So, a accidental key press when it's unlocked is probably not going to start a fire or otherwise kill me. However, I do have it on flashing red, letting me know that this light is capable of going into turbo if it's pressed twice, and that would be bad. <laughs> so I set up all of my lights with a couple of settings. Uh, one is when it's unlocked, I want the auxiliary LEDs to flash between high and low red. And when it's locked, I want the auxiliary LED to be a solid low blue. I set my manual memory to the lowest ramp. And then I set a hybrid memory for five minutes so that if I ramp up and turn the light off, if I need to use this light again within the next five minutes, it's going to go right back to the ramp level that I had manually gone to. After five minutes of not using it, if I turn it back on again, it will come back on in this lowest setting once more. The other thing I do is after 15 minutes, of being unlocked with no intervention, I want it to automatically lock itself. One, two, three, four. I want it to automatically lock itself and go to the low blue, letting me know that it's cool, safe, in case I forget to lock it. So I got, let's pretend this is new. I got another Hank light and it's I've upgraded it to Android 2 but it's in simple mode it doesn't have any of the settings that I want I want to be able to pick up any of my lights and with the single button activate the same modes uh, the way I like it so here I am in simple mode, I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and hold. And now I'm in advanced mode. And we can check that by 1, 2, 3 and hold. No, that's not it. It's from off, it's 1, 2, 3, battery mode. So this is the battery check, three clicks. I'm at 4.1 volts here, and you can see that it is cycling repeatedly. 1, 2, 3, 4, point 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, point 1. If it's cycling like this over and over again, you're in advanced mode. If it does it once and then goes back to off, you're still in simple mode. So to get into advanced mode, 10 clicks and hold. I'm going to tap just to turn it back off. Okay, now that we are in advanced mode, now we can start doing some stuff. Because the only way to even configure simple mode is from advanced mode. 
but I'm not going to configure simple mode. I don't care about simple mode. It can die in a fire. I only care about advanced mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light on, and I don't like where it came on. I want it to be lower. So I'm going to tap twice and hold to bring it down to the lowest ramp. Now that it is on the level that I want it to be, with the light still on, I'm going to click 10 times to set that manual memory. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it blinks once, letting me know that is my manual memory. So if I turn the light off, I turn the light on, it's going to come on in manual memory. If I ramp up from here, and then I turn the light off, when I turn the light back on, oh, it's food bar, because I got something else already set on here. You get the idea. Nix that. Take two. Okay, so we got our manual memory set at that lowest setting. Now I want to configure my hybrid memory. And this is a little tricky. So from the light on, right? Lights off, lights on. From here, I'm going to do 10 clicks and hold, and I'm going to wait for the second blink. The first blink would disable the manual memory if I selected anything. The second blink is going to set a timer for my hybrid memory. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and hold. First blink. Second blink, let go, and we're in config. One, two, three, four, five, wait, and it goes back, I turn it off. So now what I have is my manual memory is set to the lowest ramp. If I ramp up and I turn the light off, if I turn the light back on within five minutes, it's going to come back on in that uh, ramp that I had manually set it to. Whereas after five minutes, then it will come back on in moonlight. Now you may have noticed over here this was flashing red and now it has gone blue. This light automatically locked out. Right? So I have my ramp set the way I want it. Now I need to configure my auxiliary LEDs to let me know is the light locked, unlocked, and so on. So if I tap and the light comes on, I am not in lockout mode. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change my auxiliary LEDs from this obnoxious disco to a red high-low flash. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do seven clicks. No, I'm going to do seven and hold and change my auxiliary color. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the seventh. It's going to cycle through all of the available colors. And I'm going to let go when it hits red. And I let go. So now it's on red high, but I want it to be red flash. So I'm going to seven clicks without the hold to change the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It blinks, letting me know that it changed. And it's on blinky. If I do this seven more times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's going to go off. If I do it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to blink, and it should be low, although you can't really see it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. High. And then one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And red blinky. Okay? Red blinky's good. But now, when I lock out the light, one, two, three, four. Oh, check it out, it's already blue, but it's high. I don't want high. I want this to be low. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Now it's blinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's low. But I don't think that it's actually blue. I think that is the battery check mode. Uh, I'm going to put this in high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see how it's pink? And then it's going to switch to blue. It'll switch to blue in a second. There it goes. Okay, this is a voltage meter. Uh, you don't need to know this, but... Yeah, see how it's kind of vacillating between pink and blue. This is a voltage setting. So if I 10 clicks and hold... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I meant seven clicks and hold. See how it's cycling through? It's going to do solid colors, and then it gets to disco and that super fast flash like that. That is voltage mode. And the voltage mode is going to do, based on colors, uh, a representation of your voltage. But I don't care about that because I don't want it to ever end up on a cool blue where I might think the light is unlocked, but it's not. It's just at 3.9 volts or something. Uh, and then I want this low. So from there, I'm going to seven clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it on? Is it alive? No, that's blinky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Blue, low. Okay. So, one, two, three, unlock. Red flashing. Awesome sauce. Okay, so that's basically it. Unlocked. Locked. Alright, well, it's not pretty, but you get the idea. Too long didn't read. Remember, 10 hold to enter advanced. From the on position, 10 clicks is going to set your manual memory to whatever the light is currently on. From the on position, 10 clicks and hold the 10th. Go to the second blink to set your hybrid timer. And from lockout... Ooh, we forgot that. Okay, so from lockout. We are unlocked. Let's go to lockout. One, two, three, four. All right. Blue cool. We want to set a lockout timer. And I want my timer to be 15 minutes. So from lockout, I'm going to 10 clicks and hold the 10th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and hold. Blink. Let go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait. And it goes off. Okay, so now... If I unlock it, one, two, three, after 15 minutes, this will lock and go cool, low blue. All right, any questions? No? Great, thanks. See you next time.